everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have such a fun tutorial to share with you all today. We are going to be making an enamel pin banner. This is such a fun way to display your pins, buttons, and needle minders. I have a couple of my favorites on here right now. So stick around and I'll walk you through step-by-step step how to make your own. Okay, let's go over the supplies that we're going to need to make today's project. So my final banner size is going to be 12 inches by 16 inches. So you'll want to cut your pieces of fabric about an inch and a half bigger than your final size because you'll lose some of that length in the seam allowance and when you flip it inside out, we'll get to that. So I have two pieces of fabric here cut to 13 and a half by 17 and a half inches. You'll also need two four inch squares for the hanging mechanism. The fabric I'm using today is called Stone Etchings by Moda. It's a part of their Bella Solids line. And then you'll want a matching thread. I'm using Dove by Aurifil. And you also are going to need a dowel rod for hanging. So my final size is going to be about 12 inches, so I do have a 12 inch dowel here. And you're also going to need a long ruler for cutting. You'll want your pins for sewing and then a mat and a rotary blade cutter as well. All right, let's jump into assembling. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our triangle out at the bottom to make this a pendant shape. So you'll want to find the center of your fabric. So I am going to fold it in half and then just get a nice crease down here at the bottom with my finger. That will give me a good estimate for what the center will be. You can vaguely see it here. So to get that angled cut, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm gonna find the 30 line here. So these angled lines on your ruler can give you angled cuts. There's a 30, 45, and 60. So you can choose whatever angle works best for your project. Today, we're gonna to use the 30 line. So what I'm gonna do is line it up here in the center. Make sure the 30 degree line is even with the bottom of my fabric and we will give it a cut. Okay, so that side is good and we'll just do the exact same thing on this side. Find that 30 degree line Put the edge here at the center and give it a cut. Okay, so this is what we have with the pendant bottom. All right, so the next step is going to be assembling this together with our sewing machine. So I am going to use a quarter inch seam all the way around, and I'm going to leave about a two or three inch opening in the top so that I can flip it inside out and get that nice edge. So I will just pin this together so we keep it really nice and even.
Okay, so that looks good to me. Let's head over to our machine. Okay, we are ready to start sewing. So just be sure to have your quarter inch foot on your machine and we are ready to go. Once we get to the corner, you'll just want to stop at about a quarter inch before you get to the edge and then you'll lift up your foot, pivot, and you can put your foot back down and continue. We are going to do the exact same thing every time we get to a corner. So we'll get close to the edge, about quarter inch away. Make sure your needle is down, lift your foot up, turn your work, put it back down and continue sewing. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep sewing until about two to three inches is between where I started and where I'm going to end. So let's lift up our needle and cut the thread off. And we'll head back to the table so we can flip this inside out. This is what our piece looks like now after sewing. So I am going to flip it inside out and just use this hole here in order to do so. So as I am working around this, I just want to make sure I get those corners out the best I can. If you have a turner, that's great. You can use that to help you with the corners. I don't have one, so I'm just going to use my fingers and it will work just fine. So the edges are all nice and neat now that we turned it out. I am going to give this a quick press. All right, we are pressed flat. The corners are looking nice. So the next step is to create the hanging mechanism. So remember these four inch squares that we cut in the beginning. What you will want to do is just fold them in half and press them down. I have done that already right here. So you end up with two triangles. So what these will do is be in the corners on the back of your piece and they will create a little sleeve so you can put the dowel in and hang it up on your wall. So 
This is what the back is going to look like. And then on the front, we are going to sew all the way around just another quarter inch seam using our gray thread. Okay, let's head to the machine. Okay, so I did pin the triangles on the back just to make things easier so they don't slip around. To get started, I'm going to start about a quarter inch in from the side corner here. I want it to have a nice finished look and I don't want the stitching to go off the edge on any point. And again, the quarter inch foot is on and we are ready to go. And here is where the opening is, where I was able to flip it inside out. So we'll just be extra careful here that we're not going over the quarter inch seam allowance so that we can close this up nice and tidy. Same thing as before, we're going to go to about a quarter inch away from the edge, lift up our foot, put it back down and continue sewing. and then I'm just going to end it in the corner. Again, I don't want the stitching to go off the edge. So let's cut our threads and we will head back to the table. Okay, so this is the final piece. We have the beautiful stitching all the way around. Gives it such a nice finished look. And then let's do the hanging of the dowel. So this is super easy. Just make sure you get a dowel that is smaller than your finished piece and you will just tuck it right up in here, and then it's set to hang. And this is great for all of your enamel pins. You can even use it for needle minders, and we are done. I'd love to see if you guys are completing the same project, and let me know what colors you decide on. I think this could be a really fun addition to anyone's room, especially if you have a lot of pins, or buttons or knickknacks that you want to display. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the tutorial. I had so much fun putting this together for you. If you create one of your own, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Haley Stitches. And if you want to see more content like this, please like this video and subscribe. I'll see you next time.